In this video, guys, I want to talk about the dock moving between monitors. Now, normally, my channel is about making cars last 25 years and 300,000 miles. But every once in a while, I run into an issue that I feel like is not well addressed on the Internet, and so I just make a video about it, and this is that instance. So here's my MacBook Air M1, which is fantastic, no complaints, hooked up to my external monitor, very common scenario for you guys. And the problem is, is that the dock jumps between the two screens. So for example, you're using your computer, right? And you're just going along and oops, what's this? The dock moved. Why did the dock move? I don't want the dock to move. Can I, can I put a setting on that locks the dock on one screen? No, you can't. So here's what's going on and here's how to deal with this. If your dock moves to another screen, what you're going to do is you're going to take your cursor and you're going to move it back to your other screen. And then once you're back on your other screen, you're just going to click your mouse. And then you're going to pretend there's a monitor below this monitor down there. And you're going to move your mouse to the middle of that pretend monitor and boom, the dock will come back up. This is called summoning the dock. I wish we could summon this feature to go away. So I'll do it on this monitor. I'm going to make take my cursor, I'm going to come over here, click on the screen, and then again, I'm going to pretend there's a monitor below this monitor that I'm going to move to. I'm going to move down to that monitor, and boom, the dock's going to come up. So that's how you fix this, guys, or that's how you control this situation when your dock inadvertently moves. And it inadvertently moves a lot on this setup, and I'll show you why real quickly. If you go to System Preferences, and you go to displays, you can see when I hit arrangement, you can see how my arrangement is the laptop and the external monitor side by side. And sometimes if you have it where this is a little bit below, like down here and goes up there like that, that can result in a lot of dock jumping between monitors. And it even gets worse, guys, if you have three monitors you use. Some guys like to have a three monitor setup. So I've done a little bit of research for you guys, and this is basically a feature that goes way, way back. I've been reading forums from 2013 <laughs> that talk about this feature, and people back in 2013 wish that you could lock your dock on a particular screen, but you can't. So Apple definitely needs to fix this. I mean, my gosh, this is Big Sur, and now Monterey is coming out, and this thing is still an issue. So Apple definitely needs to fix it. But I definitely wanted to give you guys a way to deal with this, and I will talk to you guys on my normal topic of how to make your cars last 25 years in the next video. Take care.